Hey guys, it's Vicky, and yesterday was April Fool's Day. Today's the second. It's Tuesday. Um, <laughs> hmm. Sorry, April Fool's Day this year was not very pleasant. Um, I have a boyfriend this year for April Fool's Day, and this is the first year I've ever had a boyfriend on like an, on a like holiday. But he decided to play a joke on me. He decided to to text me at 9 o'clock in the morning yesterday. Hey, face jam's on. Sorry. <laughs> Sidetracked. But, um, guess I'll listen. Um, he decided, I decided, I texted him in the morning saying, Hot morning, baby. Um, I love you and, um, I'm not feeling good and all the stuff like that. And he texted me saying, Good morning, baby, and all that. And he's like, I got something to tell you. I was like, What? What did I? Because I, when he said something like that, I was like, Oh, what did I do? I thought I did something wrong. Like, never start a conversation like that. Ever. I have something to tell you. Just don't. Um, but he decided to play the joke. He's like, I just got a call that I'm a father. And I'm like, baby, it's okay. We'll get through this. I told you that we would get through this. I told you we could take care of it. And he's like, his name is Luke. Now, at 9 o'clock in the morning, I'm not fully awake. So I fully didn't get the joke. And most of y'all start there, start laughing at me. But yes, I did not get the joke. The joke was, Luke, I am your father. And he then he's like, decided he decided to say after that baby, when we have kids, when and if we have kids, I want to name one of them Luke. I was like, uh, no, that would be no. But um, I called him. I was like, baby, what are you talking about? Like, what I told you this? He's like, baby, what day is it? And I just look. I just re I literally realized that minute what day it was. I was like, shut up i was so mad because i fully didn't get the joke at the time because i was half asleep i had just woken up he had just he had waking me up from my sleep from my nap because i, I go back to sleep right after i get up at five thirty in the morning <laughs> but um and he's just in there laughing and laughing i was like it was not funny he's like yes it was i was like no so i told my mom my mom thought it was hilarious but it was not funny to me at 9 o'clock in the morning. But um, I'm actually really happy with with this guy. His name is Andrew. Um, but everybody calls him Bambi. Like, all his friends and everybody in my family basically knows him as Bambi. They, I mean, they know his real name. But I said, there is, who's, who are you texting? Bambi. Who are you talking to? Bambi. I do not use his real name unless I want to. <laughs> unless it's on Facebook because it's Andrew. My baby. But, um, sorry, I can't stop smiling right now. Um, I met him almost a month ago. It'll be a month in on the 11th, and then on the 19th will be our one month together as a couple. And, um, I'm so happy. Um, we, I'm, we met at my aunt and uncle's wedding. Um, they, he lives with them, and I didn't know. He's, okay, my boyfriend is 24 years old. I'm 19. My family thought that was a big, like, oh, my God, like, he's older than you. Yeah, he's older than me, but I'm happy. Like, l let me be happy with the person I want to be happy with. He, that night, that night was awesome. Um, I couldn't stop smiling the entire night. And at the time, I was actually dating somebody. So before me and him could, me and Bambi could date, I'd have to, I broke up, I'd have to break up the other one. And I did after a week. I broke up with him because it was just... Spring. It was spring break, and I was with my dad most of the time. And I was like, you know what, whatever. And we were going through some crap. He was going through some crap. He was. He. It's just a whole bunch of crap. And um. He um. Every time I would text. Every time I was with my ex, I um, Bambi would be texting me. And my face would just light up. Like, it would just, like, have the biggest smile on my face. I would have the biggest smile on my face. He'd always, he knew what to say to make me smile. He still knows what to say to make me smile. <laughs> um, I always smile while I'm talking to him. I always laugh when I'm talking to him. I get butterflies every day. Like, I will, I think I will always get butterflies when talking to him. Um... As me, like, as I was saying, my heart never fully opened up. I had a barrier. Like, I legit had, like, bricks, brick wall and all that um, covering my heart because I've been hurt so many times. 
and it sucked because I hated being hurt. I hated feel having that feeling. But when I met Bambi, the wall just started diminishing. Like it started just to crumble because he knew exactly what to say to make me feel good. He he knew he actually brought out the dorky side of me. Like he brought out my nerdiness. He I'm a big Doctor Who fan. Like I love Doctor Who. And I love all like nerdy stuff. Like I love comic books. I'm a big comic book person. I love anime. Anime is freaking awesome. And he brought that out. Like he I I actually showed him that side of me because he's the exact same way. Yeah, he may be 24, but he's just a big kid just like I am. But um, I love him to death. Like, he's amazing. He's the bo- he's the best boyfriend in the world, and I, my friend just texted me. But um, um, we, I hope and pray we'll be together forever. I think we will be. To infinity and beyond, baby. And it's exactly what we say to each other. We say forever and always and to infinity and beyond. Because we we strongly feel that we have that connection to the point where we know what we're what's going to happen what's going to happen in the future like we want the same things and I love him so much for that and it's just amazing having him in my life like I love talking to him I just I, I just love him as a person he's amazing he treats me he treats me right he. He says, he sits there and says, I want to give you the world, and I I have the world. When I'm with him, nothing else really matters. When I talk to him, nothing else really matters, but him. So, and my best thing is he loves my little dimple. But he always knows what to say to make me smile. So, thank you, Bambi. If you're, if you're going to watch this, thank you so much for being in my life, and I love you. Bye.